Thank you for, for allowing us to do this interview with yourself at this incredible TWIMS Institute. Introduce yourself and the role that you play here at TWIMS. My name is Dale Wilson. Um, I am responsible for the IT here at TWIMS. I also give demonstrations in the, the sandbox when, when during our courses, uh, the, specifically the future manufacturing courses. Okay, so the sandbox technology, maybe you can just go a little bit more detail what exactly you have here to offer and how it blends in. All right, so uh, we've got Gendermark uh, have uh, created a production line for us. Um, and that is basically producing uh, little cars, but the important thing is the processes that are introduced in, uh, in the making of these cars. There is RFID technology that, they, that uh, um, is available, um, and that's using RFID cards uh, for identification of operators, there's RFID identification for the workpiece. So um, when the workpiece is in, in, um, on, the, on the work, uh, on the production line, um, <clears throat> it is picked up on the computer and it is recorded where exactly it is on the production line and the computer knows exactly which part of the production line it needs to be on. It records how long it takes to get from one part of the production line to the next part of the production line. Um, and then we've got um, AI technology with cameras, set up with cameras that um, picks up your hands. Firstly, if you uh, gloved hands, you have to be wearing gloves, uh, safety gloves. And that uh, makes sure that you are when, when you're picking parts, it makes sure that you're picking the correct parts. And um, it's, we've got a virtual button. So when you, you, know, when you get, need to get to the next part of the, the process, when you finished uh, assembling whatever you need to assemble, you can press the, the virtual button. It takes you to the next step of the process. Um, and that's just to, to let the computer know that you've, you've finished with, with uh, the process that you're on. And um, it also picks up, um, we've got a drill that uh, it, um, it's, it's not actually a drill, it's a bolting tool. So it, uh, for, for bolting uh, the parts of the car together, it picks up that it's at the correct angle. So it won't let you bolt unless it picks up that you've got the bolting tool at the correct angle. Um, the bolting tool itself is got um, it's able to detect how many newtons of force it's used to tighten the bolts. Um, and you can actually, that's also something that's recorded on the system. You can go back and see uh, how many newtons of force it was, was used to tighten the bolts. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much most of the production line. So, and then Gendermark has got their Odin technology, their Odin software that um, keeps track of everything. So it's, it, it records all of the data. You can go back and see reports uh, of how long it took to get from one part of the stage of the production to the next start stage of the production. So in the VR headsets, we've, uh, Gendermark has developed for us a digital twin, which is just a, a software version. It's, it's made using game software. This software that allows you to experience the production line uh, as it is here at TWIMS, uh, physically, uh, in uh, virtual reality. There are limitations in, in, in as to what they can do, but it's still good enough if you were to need to train someone on a production line, this technology, it's, it's a good demonstration. We also uh, allow you to experience the, um, the metaverse and which th through games, We've, there's an introduction game on Oculus headsets that's uh, very immersive. Um, that it's got little games and it just introduces people to uh, the world of VR, what's, what, what it's, it's capable of. Um, and the 3D printing we just show you, um, we normally have something 3D printing. Uh, so you can just see what it looks like when something is being 3D printed. And we have uh, 3D printed objects um, 
to, so that you can see what it, 3D printing is capable of producing. And we've got uh, augmented reality uh, glasses as well. Okay, so augmented reality is the word. So augmented reality and virtual reality. So there's yes. two different to these two different terms. Yeah. Virtual reality is replaces reality. When you put the headset on, you see nothing but what's in the the headset unless you go out of the zone. Then it shows you, you know, what uh, objects. Are. So obviously a safety function. So when you're in the when you're in the 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 the, um, the the designated area on the virtual reality headset, you see nothing but what the virtual reality headset shows you. So if you're in a room in the virtual reality headset, you see only that room. With augmented reality, um, it's more a mixture. So you see what's happening in the glasses, but you also see what's happening in the real world as well. Those glasses are just, they just have a little screen on the top of them. You can still see what you're doing, um, but they've got additional information that's being fed through so for example, in a production environment, you could be working on the parts that you need to be working on. If you needed further instruction, you would um, look up in, into the, uh, the glasses, see, look at what it says on the little screen, and then carry on what you need to do. So, so you said, yeah, I, I can give you instructions while you're working. So, so you've yes. got a, a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a more open. So just explain that a little bit more. So, um, yeah, so basically, like, so you can imagine the use case scenario. Um, you've got a very expensive piece of machinery. Someone, the technician who's, who needs to come and fix it lives or their main office is overseas. Mm. So to get them to come and fly and fix your machine is going to cost them your plane ticket and labor and all of this. So what you can do instead of doing that is get one of your technicians um, to wear augmented reality glasses and allow the other technician to feed your technician instructions. So while they're working on the, on the, on the, the machine, the uh, technician from overseas is able to feed them inf instructions and um, hopefully fix the machine without having to get them to, to fly overseas, uh, from overseas and fix the machine. So ultimately what you're doing here is you're exposing people to their technology as a stepping stone to the future. Yeah, it's really meant to open people's minds to technology so yeah. that they're not, so that when they when uh, are given an opportunity to use the technology or invest in the technology, they're not afraid that it could be a waste of time or a waste of money. If they've experienced it, they know they have an awareness of the technology is available, that it, what it's capable of doing, um, and, and hopefully they'll be less hesitant to invest in technology that could uh, improve their, uh, their profit, profitability ultimately and their productivity.